Hi everyone, Kevin Creighton with AmmoMan.com. Today on the School of Guns, it's rubber shotgun slugs. So the rubber shotgun slug has been around since 1970 when the British troops started first using them in Northern Ireland. The particular versions we're looking at were made by Life Field Ammunition. They are both labeled for wildlife control only. This one is about a third of an ounce rubber slug. It's kind of hollow inside and it's got dimples on it like a golf ball to help it fly more efficiently. This one has two rubber balls on it. They are about, oh, 0.18 of an ounce. It travels just shy of 900 feet per second, actually. Um, it actually has some power behind it. And to test what they would do on a target, we're going to use an industry standard ammo penetration test. We're going to shoot them at ballistics gel twice. Once with four layers of heavy cloth in front of it, and once with bare gel to simulate bare skin. That's B-A-R-E skin, not B-A-R skin, you know, not the animal. And it was interesting to see the results. The slug here didn't penetrate. However, what it did was drive about four or five threads from the inner layer of fabric, the one right up against the gel, into the fabric itself. So it really caused quite a thwack on it. With this one, however, one of the balls here, I don't know which one, the front or the back, I can't tell, actually penetrated four layers of heavy fabric and into the gel itself about an inch and a half. And that's quite a wall up there. I'm not sure I would want to use that on really anything that I wouldn't use a lethal round on. I wouldn't really consider this to be less lethal than that, given that results. Because keep in mind, with those two balls in there, you can't guarantee where the shots are going to hit. It's going to act kind of sort of like a shotgun, or like a shot shell. And if that hits somebody in the eye or in a more sensitive spot, Oh boy, are you got problems. This delivered quite a thump on the target. Now, would I use this against wildlife? Possibly. Do I need to use this against wildlife? No. So maybe possibly for what, for what it states on the box, yes, I would definitely use that one. Now, how do they do against the bare ballistics gel without the four layers of heavy cloth in front? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to read the article on that. But overall, yeah, I was kind of surprised by these. They, like I said, you want to use these with a pump-action shotgun. Don't use these with a semi-automatic. They don't deliver enough juice to cycle the action. But uh, for what they're designed to do, you might want to consider that. Now, as always, this is not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. You do your own tests. You know the, the drill on this, but I'm kind of surprised by one of these rounds, actually. As always, though, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the range.